Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and toy collectors, it's your good pal Oz and today I'm going to be doing something for the ladies. I'm going to be reviewing hairdo selfies. Now uh, we've reviewed uh, different hairdos products in the past. I think we've done the neon hairdos, the standard hairdos. I think we've done some other ones too. I've lost count but uh, today we're going to be doing the selfies and uh, what we'll do is we'll open it up, we'll do a quick review and then we'll kind of uh, very briefly discuss uh, the cost of these and if they're worth buying and things like that and what the quality is like because as much as fun as it is to like look at these it's also good to be able to be helpful in some way and kind of help you decide if you want to buy these for yourself so we'll, we'll cover all of that but uh, first up let's get these out of the packet um, oh, I will quickly cover what is inside the packet so we'll look here it does come in a few different colors I think they've got them all I think it's just these three colors uh, now I could be wrong I could be wrong now there's a thing to look through here and it gives you a clue onto what as to which character I think you're going to be finding inside. I don't know if you can see anything there. Let's try a different one. That looked like a circle maybe inside. What's this one? This oh that's a heart I think. Oh no a diamond! Okay so you see a diamond in that one. I'm gonna try again with this first one. Uh, oh there we go that looks like a flower. So I, I think this is giving us a clue what kind of uh, hairdo's character we're going to be getting. Uh, that's another flower that one because I know there are a few different kind of patterns and different types of hairdo's. Ah, oh, and we're checking out the box. So <laughs> there's a nice camera lens at the front here. Uh, this looks like it's designed to be a camera of course. Uh, we got the viewfinder there what we just looked in for our kind of clue. Not much else. Oh there's also fine print there. Um, kind of shows that you can find more about this on uh, Instagram, Facebook or YouTube. Uh, there's some kind of hashtags to follow up. Website there and now the contents of this packet is uh, one hairdo selfie, one accessory, one camera capsule which would be this bad boy, uh, one selfie frame, uh, one selfie stand and a collector's sheet which is, is all good, all good. Okay so now let's cut this open and oh do we need to cut it open? That's a good thing to find out. No there's a perforated edge. That's good. I kind of um, don't like children's toys that require knives to be opened. It's just kind of not right in a way. You want them to be able to open it up themselves. But uh, I could do it with my hands but it's going to take forever. I have no idea how children can rip on these perforated plastic lines here because sometimes it's really hard like that one. Um, now here we go. So underneath at the back we got the uh, looks like a big kind of viewfinder here which is cool or like a preview screen I don't know what they call that big screen there I think the viewfinder no that's what that is I don't know I'm no cameraman let's <laughs> see the front looking cool kind of looks cooler without the wrapping on sometimes that's not the case but I kind of like it there's a lot more detail there uh, and that looks like the flash where the flash comes out Pew. okay and now this there's a picture here so I don't know if this is any sort of clue or if it's just a picture what comes with everyone. Oh this might be the checklist. Okay there we go. So we've got the nice picture frame there. Where can we put this stuff? Let's lower the camera then. I can just rest stuff down as we're looking at it. Okay so here is the uh, look at this one first. The checklist. So all the different characters we can get. Looking good. Let's quickly check out again. What was that clue we had for this one? This was a flower. Okay, a flower. Does it, using that with this, does that help in any way? No, I don't see any flowers here. So it's not giving me any, oh yeah, there we go, on the head. She's got diamonds. She's got flowers. Okay, so it might be one of these, like a lily. Uh, Cause she's got a flower on her forehead. She's got a flower on her forehead. Uh, that was hard to spot. Okay, now step one, instructions. Have a sneak peek inside the camera, we've done that. Uh, pull the tab to remove the collector's guide and selfie frame, we did that. Uh, now open the camera to reveal your hairdo selfie. Cool, we're about to do that. Um, then we'll discover a tool to style our, our do's. I think they're called or do's. Um, oh, hairdo's. Okay, now I'm, I'm with you. Um, use a base stand to display your hairdo selfie on any surface and then place the selfie frame and camera and place the selfie 
where the pin is for a selfie moment. Oh, you didn't read that. There we go, over there. Um, nice, okay, well that checklist was kind of quite useful. Now let's open it up. As I mentioned, do we have to press any buttons or is it just using muscles? Yes, there we go. Okay, so we have, I'm just gonna move that back a bit. There we are. So this is what you see when you open it up. There's a nice little kind of platform there. It doesn't come off. Nope. Okay, that's as it is. So that's kind of set up to be like a stand. We'll get her out. Now her hair feels really nice, really curly. Oh, and we we were kind of right in our guess. I'm just going to stand her up there. Stand, stand. There we go. So this is a oh no, twin Frodo, Frodo. Oh, uh, the Frodo, twin Frodo. So yeah, there's top button Frodo and twin Frodo. Okay, and I'm guessing she's got twin Frodo because they're a twin kind of, I don't know, what do you call these? Buns? <laughs> pony, the, usually the, the, the would be ponytails, but the, her hair's too curly. Anyway, and there's no stand. There's like a little, um, you can see it there. There's that little bump there, but her little feet don't go on it. But maybe that's what this platform's here for. So let's try that out. We'll get this out. So what is this? It's just like a... Yeah, it is just a platform for her to stand on. Does her feet go into that hole? Yes! Okay, it didn't, I, didn't, I was worried it wasn't going to. There we go. So now, if she balances... Yep, okay. Now we can make her stand like that, looking good. We'll straighten it all up. Okay, now she comes with this hairbrush which I'm going to be terrified using this in her curly curly hair, but we'll give it a shot. I'll probably just rip heaps of it out. I am not gentle. I've learned with my daughter, I am not the gentlest at brushing hair. Oh, here we go. Okay, it does work. You can get a good brush on. And, ah, oh, it's just made it messy. Uh, this is what happens in real life too. I touch hair and it just gets worse. Okay, we'll just like stick it in here. <laughs> there we are. That's, I know that's not what you meant to do, but that's kind of cool. Um, now, anything else can we see in this case? Just like there's a kind of a display here or a picture here, or I don't know what you'd call it when it's kind of printed on, but uh, it looks like a mirror and maybe a table, like a makeup table. Uh, that is all we're getting from. This is a cool case though. Now that I can see what it does, that is a good camera case. And it's quite sturdy too. And you put the frame in there, the photo frame. That is very cool. Okay, so the case itself is not junk. Like you would use this and keep this. You know how some you throw out, they're kind of disposable. But this one is very sturdy. That hinge is quite amazing feeling. So yeah, that that is a big thing I didn't really count on. I thought it would all be about the toy, but no, the case itself is very cool. Okay, and she's quite poseable too. So the whole point of this is to be able to take selfies with her or make her look like she's taking selfies. And you can see she's got a cool kind of pose going. And yeah, her arms move around, her head moves around, her clothes are quite rubbery. Just her leg, oh, she, she can even like pose by lifting her leg. That's cool. Look, look, look at that. You can make totally cool poses with them. And their clothes swap around. So even though her feet are tiny, you can take her shoes off. I'm assuming you can take her dress off and swap them around. Let's give it a shot. There we go. She got little underpants on. Uh, her jumper, I don't think, is going to come off. Nope, that, that is built into her, of course. But cool, so if you get more than one of these, and we will open another one, um, you can swap their clothes around which is cool okay now let's put her shoes back on we'll set her up with a pose and then we'll quickly open another I kind of don't really think about how many of these I'll open but we're doing pretty good for time so the second one I'll open a bit more quickly and we'll make sure it isn't a we can use the preview kind of screen here to make sure we're not getting the same one okay this one's a diamond so that's good we're not going to get a character that looks very much the same or a double up um, the container is the same so we won't need to look at that this time okay here we go so this time green green camera ah get off my fingers there we go a uh, green camera we got a pink photo frame this time same picture as last time on the checklist we don't need to look at that this time um, very cool. So you can stick your own photos in there. Just kind of cut them with a knife or with scissors and then slip them in so you can reuse this frame. It doesn't have anything that holds it up. There's no kind of like little stand out the back to hold it up. So you'd probably have to lean it against something or stick it up on a wall. 
uh, something like that. But yeah, there's nothing to help with that either. But yeah, there's still, because it's so light, you could do a lot. You could just use safety pins in the corner. I don't know, you, you choose, but uh, it doesn't come with a stand in there. Now let's open it up. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Why is this harder this time? Am I doing this right? Yes, I am. Okay, muscles. Maybe I'm just really weak. Haven't had breakfast. Was there a button I pressed? It feels like it's stuck there. Maybe I've got to take that out first. Yeah, the last one didn't open so difficult. So hard. Okay, I'm just going to use force this time. And if it breaks... Okay, no. It was meant, meant to have force kind of put into it. I wasn't sure if there was a button somewhere, so I wasn't being too rough with it. Uh, this, is, this is my excuse for not being able to open it. <laughs> I was not using too much force because I didn't want to break it. But uh, it looked like there's no other options. So I used my man strength and broke it. <laughs> no, didn't break it. Didn't break it. Okay, so we got another stand, a pink one. This time we got a different brush. Uh, now, maybe the brushes match the hairstyles. I wonder if they do that. Because this is very different here. And she comes with very different kind of shoes this time, different dress. Now we'll stand her up so you can have a good look. Oh, I missed the feet holes. So yeah, I don't know if you saw this, but their feet have holes at the bottom and those holes go in there somehow. Oh, it's a tight squeeze to make them stand up, but it works. Okay. Now, I'm not the most delicate person, but it looks like it's going to stand. There we go. Okay, so we got two of them now. And we will swap their shoes around just to kind of see. But first thing, we got to see who we got. So the second one is Two-Tone Ponydoo. <laughs> so that's her name. Her hair is amazing, by the way. Like those, those colors are really bright. And it feels very nice and glossy. All of these have a nice smell to them, like a kind of strawberry scent. Um, and it even lasts months and months, because it was a long time since I opened the last hairdos. And uh, when I opened up the packet to get like these guys out, just to display them, the smell that hit me was intense. It's, uh, if you keep them confined and then like open it after about a month, then uh, yeah, the smell will like stink out your whole room with strawberry, which is not a bad thing. Um, anyway, so there we go. Got her hairbrush there. We'll trial this hairbrush, make sure it works. This one is a bit better for me. Oh, more her hair is a bit better. I'm not like ripping it out. There we go. Okay, so the brush works. Uh, we'll make her stand. Actually, let's, let's change the clothes around. So, we'll swap shoes. Actually, let's swap it all. We'll swap shoes, swap dresses. And then we know we've done everything we can. Now, um, while I'm doing this, let me quickly go over some details. So the quality, so this is for those wanting to purchase these. We'll kind of work out if we think this is good value. So the quality of these dolls are good. Uh, the head is on a ball joint there. You could probably swap the heads. Let me give it, yeah, look, you can not take the heads off. So you can even swap the bodies. I don't know if you need to, like if it's designed that way, but it's not going to do any damage taking it off and putting it back on again and again and again. It's not particularly hard either. So that's that's good. You, we can swap their heads around. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know if the design for that, but it is an easy thing to do. So you can swap their heads around. That could be a secret. We maybe we'll work something new out. Uh, now we can swap their dresses around. So now she's got the blue top, kind of like a gym shirt. With we'll keep. Yeah, we'll swap the shoes around. Okay. Put the shoes on. This is surprisingly fun. <laughs> ah, okay, these shoes are kind of uh, fiddly. She's got these straps. There we go. If you've got little hands, this would be much easier. Okay, there we go. So we've swapped her head, swapped her dress. Uh, so original dress head, sorry, original dress that went with this head. Um, and then different shirt different shoes so I've made a whole new outfit for her let's stand her up over here okay I think I think we got it okay now this is a different shirt for her so this head is not meant to go on this body but still looks good um, blue dress if there was a pink dress that would be the auto best outfit for her because of her pink hair okay so the dress slides on very easily it's a good fit um, now I forgot what I was talking about before I was talking about the quality of these toys so yeah the quality is good they're not gonna break these arms they do move and they might 
snap if you were putting a lot of pressure on them um, but I don't think it would happen easily you would have to like the arms don't stick out and they're not particularly long so they would have you can't really stand on them to break their arms and it doesn't feel like they will break unless you really try so the quality is good good enough for what it is to be able to pose them ah shoes uh, they are good and uh, the legs same thing they you probably saw better when the dresses were off but uh, yeah, they're not going to come off anytime soon. Uh, it's cool that you can swap the heads around. It gives you a lot more versatility with what you do to design these clothes and outfits and poses because different heads, different bodies have different poses. Uh, so that kind of adds more versatility. But yeah, these are cool. And the cases, I didn't mention, the cases are really good and really sturdy. Like that hinge will take a bit to break it. Uh, the hair brushes are nothing special, but they won't break because, oh, actually, let's try these. They're as strong as a normal hairbrush, how about that? Uh, the picture frames are cool, not much to them, you can decide for yourself. Now I never mentioned the prices, so I had to look online. You can get these for $16 just from like random generic websites, which is more expensive than if you went to Kmart. So Kmart is the only major chain I can see that has these ones, the selfies hairdos, um, and they were $11 each. Uh, but these are brand new, so that price might go down over time, but even so, for $11, I feel these are pretty good value, especially with the cool cases, uh, especially with the photo frames. You get these cool toys, you get more than one, you can swap them around. I think it's good. Some toys, like in, like especially girls' toys, I don't feel a great value, but these ones I do vouch for. I do think these are good, especially with the bigger cases. I feel that the cases for these too. By the way, I feel like the cases for these are better than the cases for these. You can't really reuse this as well as you can reuse these because these also make a cool kind of like platform stand. It's good. It's good. Anyway, they get my thumbs up. Um, now, guys, if you like this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. Subscribe if you have not yet already subscribed. Let me know in the comments below if you like these, if you have some already, or if you want me to review any other toys that like these. Uh, but that's it. So otherwise, guys, have a great week. Take care of yourself and I will catch you next time.